Bonjour, so today I want to highlight the efficiency of the UV, UV filtration to uh, basically kill the microalgae and make the water very clear. So I want, what I will do today, I will show you the quality of the water that we have in the pond. I haven't used the UV for probably a good year. Now the water is not like very dirty, you could leave it, I mean when I say dirty it's like, what I'm trying to say is that you can sit, still see through the water. But for an aesthetic perspective, for, from a, an aesthetic point of view, if you want the pond to be very ornamental, you want to see the fish a bit more, you can put the, turn the UV filtration on. So right now, the water, I will show you how it is. And I will turn the UV filtration on and I will record another video to show you the difference in a week time. I will use it only for a week and we'll see the difference. So, I just want to talk about uh, UV filtration. You know in aquaponics, if you want to have uh, your water that is crystal clear, you got different options. Uh, you, can, you can decrease the quantity of light that you have into the, going into the water, especially into the pond. Um, you can try to minimize the quantity of nitrogen you have in the water. Basically, you want to minimize the algae growth, right? Uh, and everything works well, but generally you don't want to you don't want to decrease the nitrogen available because that's what is available for the plants. But UV filtration is really one of the best things you can do, one of the most efficient. I'm not saying that it's very important to have. It really depends what is your aim with aquaponics. It's not the most sustainable thing. It's good from an aesthetic point of view because the water is going to be crystal clear. Here I have an aquaponics, uh, I have a, a UV filter on one of my aquaponics systems. And honestly, I don't turn it on very often. It's most of the time off. And I just turn it on sometimes when um, I really want the water to be super clear and when there is a bloom of algae. But it only runs maybe two weeks in the year. Anyway, <clears throat> the point being is that uh, this UV filter, how does it work? You know, you got a light, you see this tube here. I shouldn't touch it with my hand, I will, I will clean it then. But this, then there is uh, this, this uh, bottle basically it's this tube that is all around and the water is going around this tube and the water is in contact with the light so it's sterilized what you want to do that's what I'm doing now I'm uh, you know maintaining this UV filter what you do you clean this because with time you're gonna have some particles on it bacteria whatever probably not bacteria right but crustacean you can have anything that grows on this if you have particles on this, um, the reality is that it's going to block uh, the light. The light is not going to be able to go through the water and it's going to decrease the efficiency of your UV filter. So if you have something that is installed in your system, even if you don't use it, because it's in contact with the water, you may have some particles that grow on it or that stick on it. So here you see I just cleaned it, it's crystal clear now, I'm going to put it back. You know, it goes here. And um, yeah, I mean, very simple. Just a little thing that you need to keep in mind if you use a UV filter. Salut! So here we are. You see, we can still see the golden trout. But we have some troubles to see here the fish here, yeah? and it's not that clear. And actually, even if I look here, there is only 30 centimeters of water. You can see the bottom, right? It's not completely dirty, but you see the stone there but it's not crystal clear so you see there are different strategies to keep the water clear and uh, this is perfect for aquaponics this type of water is good there is no issue at all with this from a functional perspective it's really good but if you want the water clear you can turn on the uv filtration and you will see the results uh, very soon for you but for me it's going to be in a week time Because what we don't see here, what is not obvious is that there are so many microalgae into the water. We can see it by night when you take a UV light and you have a look, you can see all the, all the algae. So I will, I will try to record it during the night and show it to you. I want to, I want to show you how, how much algae there is in this water. Uh, it's not like the highest concentration because you can still see through. But there are some and if you remove them then the water is going to be way clearer 
So see you in a second and for me it's going to be in a while. Okay, so I had um, uh, the UV filter on for a good week. So let's have a look how uh, the water looks like. So we can already see on the, on the side here, we can see the stone and it's pretty neat. Very clear actually. So it's just been a week of use and we can already see a significant difference. And we can see the fish, they are really on the bottom of the tank, but we can still see them. And now when they come to the surface, I think we can really see a big difference. So just using the UV, it doesn't make any real improvement from an aquaponics point of view, but um, it looks better, you know, you can really see the fish and it's more enjoyable.